All right, here's a riddle. Um, let's see if I can get this right this time. Um, I will read the riddle off. Uh, you can come back for a hint, um, and then I'll give you the solution. So um, let's give it a go here. Uh, a merchant can place eight large boxes or ten small boxes into a carton for shipping. In one shipment, he sent a total of 96 boxes. If there are more large boxes than small boxes, then um, how many cartons did he ship? All right, so um, mull it over, read it a few times, pause it, and come back for your hint when, when you're ready. All right, here's your hint. I want you to ignore, at least for the initial part of um, you trying to solve it, this line. Okay, For the beginning part of your solution, just ignore that there are more large boxes than small boxes. That's the second step. The first step, you have to think of multiples. I told you it was a math problem. I've got to spell it right. Multiples. All right, so think of multiples. It is a math problem, and it's very doable. So get your pencil and paper out and pause it and come back in a few. Okay, here's the solution. Um, I told you to think of multiples, so I'm going to make a chart that lists all the multiples of the large and small boxes. All right, so let's see here. Try to do this quickly. And I'm hoping you already know the solution anyway. And let's see, hopefully that's enough. And so here's the number of cartons. And let's do one more. Okay. And so multiples of large boxes would be eight. So um, one carton will have eight boxes. Two cartons will have 16. Three cartons, 24. Four cartons, 32. And so on. 56, 64, and 72. And then small boxes are multiples of 10. So one carton has 10 boxes, two has 20, three 30, and so on. And so what you end up with are a um, list of possibilities. And looking at that list of possibilities, when you add the large and the small, we need to come to a sum of 96 boxes. And um, there's only a couple ways that that can happen. Uh, the small boxes are multiples of 10, so that means uh, no matter what, the, the second number is going to be a 0. And so the large has to end in a 6, and that only happens here and here. Okay, But now we have to refer back to this line of the riddle that um, I asked you to ignore. Now it comes into play. <clears throat> if it were um, 16 um, and corresponding number would have to be 80. There would be far more small boxes than large boxes. And that's opposite of what the riddle says. The riddle says that there needs to be more large boxes than small boxes. So the correct solution, let me change colors, um, the correct solution would have to be the 56 and the 40. Okay because 56 is greater than 40 and that's large greater than small and so the math again would look like this um, 8 boxes, 8 large boxes times the 7 cartons would get you 56 boxes and then for the small uh, 10 boxes for every 4 um, cartons and that would give us 40 boxes and that would total 96 boxes but we're, we're asked how many cartons that would be so the solution would be 11 cartons okay because these are the cartons so the solution 11 cartons and there are more large than small okay hope you solved it